Okay, you can go ahead. Good afternoon. My name is Paul Grisella. I'm the director of the Greater Raritan Workforce Development Board. Uh, we are a career and jobs focused organization uh, serving Hunterdon and Somerset counties. I'm here today just to give you a, the broadest overview possible of the system and how it kind of, not how it kind of, but how it works together to try to um, assist both employers and job seekers in our two counties. Now, trying not to get too technical about it, but the Workforce Development Board, um, just so you know, is one of 17 workforce boards in New Jersey and uh, one of hundreds of workforce boards around the nation. Every area has um, either a, a local, county, or regional workforce board, um, all working in this, a similar way to um, make the, uh, the careers system and job system uh, work as efficiently as possible. Uh, our current configuration um, exists because of 2014 Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act. Um, but really we've been existing in some form for um, several decades now. Uh, each workforce board is led by a, that, the best way to rephrase it is a, quasi board of directors um, that we working with the staff and other partners try to understand the needs of the local job market, both from the employer supply side and the job seeker side. Uh, we try to leverage and integrate all of our resources. We work to promote all the workforce investments and programs uh, that our local state and federal partners offer. And bottom line really is we're trying to constantly connect job seekers to career information, programs and opportunities, and connect hiring employers with job seekers. So keep in mind that that's always our two main buckets, employers and job seekers. The uh, workforce board primary, one of the primary uh, jobs is to oversee the one-stop career centers. In our case, they are located in Somerville um, at, um, uh, at 75 Veterans Memorial uh, Drive and at 27 Warren Street and at 6 Gaunt Place in Flemington. We have a very uh, defined local mission that I think really um, supports what I was talking about previously. Our vision is to integrate all of our publicly funded workforce services and job, program, job training programs into a system that is flexible, seamless, and responsive to the needs of workers and businesses. The full board is comprised, uh, has, has to be by legislation comprised by the more than at least 51% of um, employers or business owners um, or business representatives in the, um, our area. And then there are also um, agencies from both counties, um, the colleges, the college, the Votex, and um, providers all work together to try to understand what is happening and how we can uh, impact it in a positive way. The full board meets quarterly, um, at least, and it's supported by an executive committee that meets as needed. And then the, uh, that work is supported by four committees, which meet throughout the year, that focus on strategy and um, initiatives. Those are our Disabilities Committee, our Literacy Committee, our Operations Committee, and the Youth Committee. All of the meetings that I've just, uh, all of the committees that I've described to you um, are uh, open to the public. The full board membership is appointed by the two boards of commissioners, the Hunterdon and Somerset County Boards of Commissioners, um, along with some mandatory partners. But the four committees, the Disabilities, Literacy, Operations, and Youth, um, are open to anyone in the in the in the um, community. We welcome uh, the support and input of people who are being helped by the system or who have a passion to help, um, because that can help um, better drive the work that we are trying to do. So, 
uh, uh, just a, uh, a reminder that you are always welcome other uh, other voices to come to the table at any of our meetings and just, just listen. Uh, we also have a full-time staff supporting the board. That includes myself as the director, our business manager, a job developer who works with both employers and job seekers. And we have a new position of Pathways to Recovery Navigator. That is for a program that's helping people who have been impacted by the opioid uh, drugs epidemic. Um, and then we also have um, a part-time intern position, intern position that is staffed by deep different people throughout the course of the, the year. Um, in a word, and this is a little duplicative, but I really always like to just try to then, everything that I just talked about can be um, summarized by these, uh, these points. The, uh, we try to connect job seekers with import employers through jobs, career information, free training, money for additional job training, and career pro programming. We connect employers to job seekers through on the ongoing job match project, information and, and hiring events, which um, have been in virtual, but uh, are starting to come back in person. We also have on the job training programs offered by the GRWDB and um, our state partners, as well as in incumbent worker training, which is cohort based. And again, all of this is seeks to come together to have a positive impact, um, helping to ensure that our employers are connected to and using our very talented workforce in the two counties. This is kind of just like a little bubble of how we envision this all kind of working together. Um, we have our, um, as I said, our, our Veterans Memorial Drive location is the, includes employment services, the Division of Vocational Rehabilitation, and the State Business Services. Our training center is located right across the parking lot um, at 27 Warren Street in Somerville. And then our location at Six Gaunt Place in Flemington has uh, representatives from both offices um, staffed there. And you can see here on this, um, this slide how the services um, are apportioned and who can do what. There's a little, um, uh, a little uh, I don't know if overlap is the right word, but both our training services and our employment services teams offer workshops. The board does as well, um, as you can see by me talking today. Um, and we all, both teams will help people uh, who are just looking for um, help finding uh, a job. You know, you may need some uh, assistance or, or maybe you need assistance with uh, tightening up a resume. Um, there are multiple ways that we can help you with that. Uh, staff works 8.30 to 4.30, five days a week, uh, Monday through Friday. Um, our programming is available virtually by phone or in person. Uh, that includes now, um, uh, appointment service at employment services and walk-in a uh, service in um, the training services team um, in Somerville. Uh, because of staffing right at this moment, our uh, Flemington location is open by appointment only, uh, but uh, we do hope once we're back to a full, um, a full uh, staff, um, we will be able to return to staffing that for walk-in service as well. This is a, probably a little more granular than you, than you would want, uh, but this is just a look at um, the types of funding and staffing and how they tie together. Um, something called Wagner Pizer funds our employment services team, which has nine staff members. Um, the Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act funds our one-stop career training center. Um, and that's uh, the, uh, the work that's detailed there. And then we also offer Workforce New Jersey, SNAP and Learning Link services. Um, those are offered, um, those are literacy services in the case of Learning Link, um, work for WFNJ and SNAP, refer to uh, TANF for temporary assistance to needy families, general assistance and a sub the supplemental nutrition assistance program SNAP or what used to be called um, uh, food stamps. 
Um, all of these separate funding sources braid together to try to assist people who come into the um, uh, into the county welfare agencies and are getting um, uh, uh, supplemental nutrition assistance, um, trying to re always make sure that those um, community members ass assessing these services also are aware that um, we are there to help with uh, with career services to try to assist them to get to a better place. Uh, besides having oversight of the of the the one stop career centers and what they're doing, the workforce board also has a few direct programs that I want to make sure you're aware of. Um, our first is our Skill Up Greater Raritan. Um, this is an online training program that's more than six thousand courses. It's free for residents of Hunterdon and Somerset counties to access. Um, you can learn a whole host of new skills or kind of tighten up existing skills that maybe you feel you've gotten a little flabby with. Um, you have an 180 day 24 seven license that allows you to study in as many courses as you want. Um, you, there's also a career assessment tool that helps you refine your plan. Um, as you study, you um, add certificates. Um, for each course that you uh, finish. The courses are available, all of the courses are available in English. Some are available in Spanish and Chinese, Mandarin Chinese as well. Um, and all of them are geared for the same basic uh, thing to help our, the goal, to help uh, people, whether they're um, a long-term employee or someone who's new to the career world, understand the skills and master the skills that they need to succeed because a lot of these are also employability or soft skills. Um, one of the things that we just added about a month or so ago are two new book badge programs, uh, one uh, focusing on job readiness and another on new manager skills. Both were designed from with input from employers um, and the idea behind these is to in a fun format that, inc that uh, includes gaming and our learning platform going back and forth and in about 16 to 20 hours in each one, develop some uh, and reinforce some key foundational uh, skills that are needed if you're um, new to the work, for work world or if you're new to a man manager managerial role. Um, again, these are all free. And when you do take them, they're being done in a cohort format. We launched our first cohort back at the end of March. We do anticipate launching additional cohorts, two or three additional cohorts this spring and summer. So if you're interested in those, um, please contact me. And my contact information will be at the end of this um, presentation. We also, also, also offer lots of other career-related um, services. I always encourage people to bookmark our calendar um, events calendar page on our work on our website www.thegrwdb.org that is um, constantly updated and you'll see that we've already started um, add uh, events uh, workshops like the one that you see on the screen. Um, we already have about another I don't know nine or 10 for the rest of the 2022 and we'll be adding more over the course of the next uh, week we, and we're week or so and we're always updating that it's a really good place and a resource where you can find um, events like this workshop and, and our hiring events that are not only hosted by the workforce board or our partners but even by other areas so if i hear about a um, job fair for example that may be happening in a, a county or two counties away, it's gonna be on there because I think it's just a way for you, you to know uh, where to find information that you need. Uh, we also en encourage people to bookmark our resources, um, pardon me, our resources uh, tab, uh, resources job seeker tab page. That has a whole host of different uh, resources and includes our um, uh, interactive 
a database of um, uh, of uh, an, an unemployment tracker that you can use to understand what is happening in very close to real time as to who which type of person is currently unemployed, what those what their skills are, and what their industries are. So you can kind of get an idea of um, where job growth in, is happening in our two counties. Um, we also added just about a year ago, a really cool resume builder. That too is under the resources tab, resources job seeker page. Um, it includes uh, templates for resumes and cover letters. And um, if you already have a uh, resume cover, a uh, resume, you can, um, uh, loaded onto the site and using an artificial intelligence or AI um, uh, uh, sorry my AI my, the word I, I was trying to say has escaped me but it uses AI or artificial intelligence to um, rate basically rate your uh, resume and give you suggestions for how to improve it uh, based on a whole series of uh, of uh, algorithms. It also, um, you can do this using that uh, same platform. You can also have your LinkedIn profile rated. And again, it'll do the same thing. It'll say what's good and what where you may need to need some additional tweaks or additions. Um, and of course you have a LinkedIn uh, profile um, that is really a, a very primary tool that um, our we know that our businesses and um, particularly hiring managers use. So please make sure that you are, if you don't, that you become comfortable and use are using LinkedIn uh, to communicate your knowledge, to have some fun and to, uh, to interact with um, people and industries that you're interested in or with your colleagues or people who you want to be your colleagues. But that's another free tool. And I should have emphasized that since we are federally and state funded, everything that we do is free. So there is no charge for any of our services, neither to the um, employer nor to the job seeker. Um, we also, uh, we have on our, uh, um, we have a separate uh, resources employer a tab that we always like to make sure that our employers know about because it's another way for our employers to um, to connect with our employers because as I said we do offer a whole host of services and we also have a labor market information page that is open to everyone um, that includes a lot of good information um, real-time information or very close to real-time information about what is happening in our mark in our labor market in regards to open positions where those jobs are located the industries and occupations that those jobs are present and also importantly what the skills are so that you as the job seeker could understand well um, this particular role had was mentioned a uh, two thousand times in a uh, in a uh, in job postings and job boards, and these skills were mentioned most frequently. Um, two things to note about the skills: the skills have not changed between um, between uh, COVID, before COVID, during COVID, and now. Uh, I, I don't think we're post COVID yet, but we're hope we're, hopefully we're getting there. So what I mean is that. Um, the skills that employers wanted for their um, uh, for a new hire have main, remained very consistent. Uh, collaboration, uh, teamwork, uh, uh, innovation, uh, understanding and mastering the Microsoft Office suite. All of those things continue to, to top um, what our employers are looking for. And then if these are the skills that they're looking for, you can then use skill up if you don't um, feel if you feel that you're a little deficient in some of these areas, you can go back to skill up and get training for free. And there are just a lot of other resources that um, we've tried to aggregate on this site as a way for you uh, to um, really just 
do your own your your own research at your own time. This like I haven't really been inside a bank to do traditional banking for several years. I think we're all used to kind of kind of a little more self service, and that's what I've tried to, um, and that's what we at the Workforce Port are trying to uh, communicate with this. Um, with our website and the different features that we've added to it over the last few years. Um, our business services team, um, which is uh, based with the state, has also expanded how um, what they're doing. Uh, as, and a lot of this is the result of COVID. Um, but uh, they, one of the interesting things that they did before COVID, they were offering um, this, uh, they were offering uh, uh, in-person, one-on-one uh, recruitments um, in either Flemington or Somerville. Now, uh, almost all of those recruitments, they're still usually just one business, but they're all done virtually. Uh, sometimes, most of the times they're information sessions, but sometimes they become hiring events as well. And all of these are looking to do the same thing, to connect our employers with um, who have open positions right now with our job seekers. Um, they also uh, offer people, both our employers and job seekers, um, a USNLX, which allows you to search for open positions that are in our area. Um, they also do a job match project, and they also help connect people to a variety of other resources, including the, the Division of Vocational Rehabilitation, um, different type of training grants. Uh, we uh, the Workforce Board also have our individual training grants, as I, but I also, as I mentioned before, we also have an on-the-job training program, which is uh, directed toward employers. So if they have an open position, say, and they have a very good candidate, but that candidate needs some additional training as they are starting the job to ensure that they have success, well, we will work with that employer and pay some of the salary of that new employee with the understanding that when they're finished, they'll get hired um, and they're in a career a demand occupation. And then as I mentioned, we also offer incumbent worker training, which is cohort based. Um, and again, that's directed toward employers who are trying to um, uh, either re retain or skill up a certain group of employees who they think are, are in one role, but if they put them, train them for another role that is both higher paying and has more of a career pathway, then it's a win-win for everybody. Um, I mentioned too that um, we have, um, uh, we've just started to do some in-person um, events. We had on April 28th, uh, a very successful uh, youth event uh, focusing on uh, youth employment um, and trying to um, show uh, our younger population uh, about if you are workforce bound rather than college bound, um, here are some of the options for you. Um, on May 24th, which is just uh, uh, 12 days away or 11 days away from the, when I'm typing, uh, taping this, we are hosting um, a the Greater Raritan Job Fair from uh, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Bridgewater Temple and Hindu Culture Society on Route 202-206 in Bridgewater. Again, that's 10 to 2 p.m. It is free. You can come anytime during uh, those four hours and meet with just about 100 employers from the two counties that um, have more than well more than 700 jobs um, or, or positions that they're trying to fill right now. And many of those positions have one, more than one opening. So that's why I think it's, it may be closer to a thousand, but I, I, I really couldn't quite figure that out. But I know there are at least 700 positions that are opening. Um, if you have questions about that, you can go to our calendar um, and or the homepage of www.thegrwdb.org and get more information. And in fact, since I have the, just a few minutes, let me just go over really quickly. Um, uh, I'll bring up the site very quickly to just make sure that you know where these uh, things are that I've been talking about. 
Um, before I do that, I want to uh, make sure that uh, you know that you can also text one stop, O N E S T O P, to 56512. Um, that connects you to our mobile friendly site where you can get text alerts, usually just once a week on Mondays, but sometimes uh, on, at another point during the um, a uh, week if something special is coming up, but it's a way to stay connected to our site. Um, we also encourage you to follow um, us on uh, Facebook and LinkedIn. And I also encourage you uh, to follow me on LinkedIn. I have a very large network and some of that network has been from people who have uh, friended me after they've taken one of these um, or connected with me, through, use the wrong phrase, when I've done one of these previous um, uh, webinars, workshops, uh, information sessions, whatever you like to call it. And again, this is our website, uh, www.thegrwdb.org. Uh, we begin with a couple of, uh, of uh, I like to call them news stories about what we're ha what's happening. This is about our work, our um, job fair. We also are, uh, we also have a summer youth employment program that and we're in the middle of doing. Uh, we have about we have more about 60 or so positions that uh, we are trying to fill. Um, if you are somebody if you've seen this before May 20th and you're between the ages of 16 and 24 the, and then looking for a summer job that will pay you three thousand dollars over eight weeks tax free, this is the um, opportunity that will be perfect for you. Uh, you can just download the form right here. And then there's just some other general stories about um, past programs and also, you know, um, the, the, the uh, skill up program and um, just a, all, a general overview of all the services that we, that we offer um, either directly or through our partners. There's a lot happening and we want you to be aware of it. Uh, as I mentioned, this is the events calendar page uh, that where you can see um, and click on and get a lot of information about what we're doing next week. Uh, as an example, um, Atlantic System is hosting a uh, Atlantic Health is hosting a job fair. That's not directly with us, but they asked to be in, uh, to let Somerset Hundred and residents know about it. We are hosting. Um, a uh, uh, virtual information for PPAC Gladstone Bank, and then our um, um, our uh, career coach in the training center is offering a presentation on conquering your fear of speaking in the, in public. And then, as I said, there are other events being hosted by either us or by other people in our area that are career related that I think uh, would be helpful to you. And this is where you'll also find uh, information directly, more information on our um, job fair. And finally, this is the resources tab. As I mentioned, it's an employers, uh, job seekers. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention about the job seekers that I think is kind of cool, right at the top of job seekers, you we post every week the number of uh, uh, the jobs that were posted in the previous week um, in uh, the National Labor Exchange in Hunterdon and Somerset counties. That can be anywhere from 11 to 1200 to over 2000. It varies from week to week, but I'm sure you've heard that there are a lot of um, opportunity, a lot of positions out there. And this is a, a way for you to get an idea of what those positions are. So you would click on the date um, and you'll see it comes, brings up a downloadable PDF that has the company name, the city, the job title, and the link to um, get more information and to apply. We're really trying to encourage um, and allow people to use the information that we have available to them. And then the resources tab also has a link to sign up for Skill Up, the labor market information, and then our resume portal. Um, and then there's also this cool little contact form that comes to a couple of us. If you have questions, just Click on that, and we will do our best to get back to you within a, the next day at the latest, and just try to answer your question or connect you to the service that is appropriate for you. So that ends my presentation. Oh, I should mention too that our contact information is here. 
um, we're here, we're here to help you. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email me uh, at grizella at co.somerset.nj.us or call me at 908-203-6044. Um, as I said, this is about making career connections work for you. And I hope that the, uh, this presentation has given you, given you some ideas, some uh, suggestions, some ways um, to uh, improve uh, your career path if uh, that is where you want to go in the coming weeks and months. Thank you for the opportunity. Okay, thanks. Let me see.